Scientists may have made a major breakthrough in finding a cure for mental illnesses like psychosis and schizophrenia. A study led by Oxford University has found that antibodies, which normally help fight infection, may actually cause psychosis in some people. And now they want to work out whether treating the immune system by basically cleaning the blood could provide a cure in these cases. Sarah Galloway is one person who's benefited already. I really like playing the piano because it's, it's just a beautiful sound. Since I got ill, I haven't been able to play at all. Um, I just haven't had the concentration or the, the mental capacity to do anything. Being able to play again is just, it's amazing. It kind of reaffirms that I am responding to treatment. It reaffirms that there is stuff that I can still save in my brain. It's not permanently damaged. My illness all began just before I was due to go back for my fourth year of my degree. I deteriorated in a matter of days. I noticed I was becoming very tired. Um, I slept for like three days straight, but didn't think much of it. Um, but then that progressed to pacing about, refusing food, refusing to wash. Um, and then that progressed um, to losing all my inhibitions. I've had this idea that my body's weird, so I've had spider's legs or rabbit ears, and I've seen them there and felt them there and been incredibly terrified during those times. I didn't quite fit into any of the boxes, but they did diagnose me with acute psychosis, and following that I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. So though I had some physical symptoms, they were masked or explained through other conditions. And so had it not been for a, a totally chance research trial, it might never have been picked up on. I might have stayed in the system under bipolar or acute psychosis for the rest of my life. I had a final blood test that was so strongly positive that they, they did a 180 on their diagnosis. And from then on, I was treated for, for the autoimmune disease. I've gone through several courses of treatment. I've gone through immunotherapy with different drugs that I just have to take every day. Um, I've had my blood filtered um, and I've had chemotherapy um, as well as, as um, the last sort of treatment. Um, mixed success, some things worked for a little while and then stopped working for whatever, whatever reason. And um, But the most recent treatment seems to have stuck quite well. Thinking about how things could have gone and how different my life could have been, um, it terrifies me because there is that stark contrast between recovering nearly all of my function and living a fairly normal life, which is what we're hoping for or being in and out of hospital, continuing to have these psychotic episodes where I'm hallucinating, I'm stripping naked, I'm crying and screaming, I'm banging my head. And that would just be my life. And one way or another, it would, it would take my life completely. Absolutely extraordinary. Let's talk to Tom Pollock. He's from King's College London and he worked on this study. You joined the team at Oxford Uni four years ago when the study was uh, going on. Ten years of research and this is really exciting, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. Um, we were interested in the relationship between problems with the immune system and psychotic disorders like schizophrenia, which are really devastating psychiatric disorders mm. as we see from Sarah's story that can be really devastating. And although we have some treatments, they're not always successful for all people and there are often side effects. So we recruited about 230 young people with the first episode of psychosis um, who were previously fit and well. And we looked at their blood for immune system molecules, special molecules called antibodies. And we know that these molecules can attack the brain and cause severe brain dysfunction. We know this from another disorder called encephalitis. Mm -hmm. And we looked for them and we found them in about 9% of these young people with psychosis. Okay, so quite a small percentage actually, but for, for those 9%, potentially some, potentially some uh, cure. 
Yeah, well, I, I, I think it's probably too early to say that, but okay. I think what it shows is that there is definitely something happening in the immune system with these people. Mm. And I think the really exciting thing is that these antibodies may be a clue that they might, that people with them might respond to a different kind of treatment, a treatment that targets the immune system. Okay. So in terms of this idea of cleaning the blood, you're just getting rid of those antibodies that att are attacking the brain? Yeah, so there are a number of different immunotherapies uh, that are available. One of them is called plasma exchange, and really it's a kind of way of filtering the blood and you can remove the antibodies. And we think that in patients who have these antibodies, that might be um, therapeutic for them. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's not definite yet. As, as with everything in medicine, yeah. you need to have a trial where patients are randomized to one treatment or another. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, this is what we're planning to do starting next year. Yeah, okay. And uh, I mean, we heard from Sarah there, but just, just for those who want to learn more, psychosis, what is it? Why can it be so debilitating for an individual who has it? Uh, so it's a, it's a really devastating disease. Schizophrenia is, is, is the disorder which most prominently features psychotic symptoms. And people with psychosis have problems with thinking, they have problems with perceiving the world, so often they experience hallucinations, and these can be auditory hallucinations, um, and they also have problems sort of understanding the world, so they can end up believing things that aren't true, and we call these delusions, and all of these have a huge effect on people's lives, and particularly so socially and educationally as well. Yeah, um, it's probably worth saying this is, I mean it's clear from how you've described the study, it's not going to work for all people with psychosis, is it? No, I think it's important to be clear, this is not a blood test for psychosis or for schizophrenia, mm. but we think that it may be the first steps towards identifying a small group of people with this disorder who may benefit from a different kind of treatment. Okay. Um, and the trial that you know are going to work on from next year? That's right. Involving how many people? Well, we need to find about 80 people who Do have you? these antibodies, but because they're relatively rare, we've probably got to test the blood of around 2,500. So we're trying to involve lots of different centres in the UK. It's, it's going to be a challenge, but we think it can really benefit patients. Okay, so if somebody's watching now who really would like to be tested in terms of, you know, if they've got these antibodies or not, because they're interested in taking part in your trial, can they get in touch with you? Sure, well, I think the important thing is, is, is first of all, to get in touch with their, their doctor, their yep. psychiatrist, and then um, they could get in touch with the, the team who are organising the trial, and they're based in Oxford University. Okay, thank you very much. Thank Tom Pollock from King's College London. Thank, thank you. you. Really interesting.